this promise you have made. So, Lord, I am asking you to fulfill your word that you would fill me with the Holy Ghost. I'm asking you to fill. Feel 
fill me with your love so Lord it will not just be a part but a circumcision of my whole heart there'll be no difference in my standing and my stain so I'm asking you to fill me with your Holy Spirit fill me fill me with your love so Lord it would not just be a part but a circumcision of my whole heart there'll be no difference in my standing and my state i'm asking you to fill me Fill us with the Holy Spirit, Lord. As we see the challenge is rising and many amongst us are falling, you will show us, Lord, we need another touch. The important thing is for us to press on. As the prophet had said, Lord, <clears throat> we will be maintained in Christ. Thank you, Father, for this prayer night. Salamat, aming Ama, nakapiling namin muli ang inyong salita. Salamat sa mga ligtas na biyahe, Lord, sa pagtungo sa mga lugar na kailangang puntahan. Dahil buhay ang inyong salita, buhay ang inyong mga anak. You've said in your word, because I live, you shall live also. And the reason that we live, Lord, is because you live. Thank you, Father. May mga panalangin, ipapanalangin, mamaya aming Ama. And Lord, as we pray for you to speak before we plead our prayers. Ang mga kapatid namin sa malalayong lugar, Lord, na nanonood din, mas marami sila aming Ama. The distance is not, it will not matter anymore. This is your word. Lilipas ang langit at ang lupa. Ngunit ang inyong salita ay hindi magkakabula magpakailanman. Lord, may we face the challenge of our day as we have sung that song. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. As you strengthen all the signals, hindi lamang sa lugar na ito aming ama, kundi sa mga malalayong lugar din. Lord, hindi na namin alam kung ano pa ang mangyayari sa sanlibutan. <clears throat> Ngunit alam namin may mangyayaring maigi sa inyong nobya. One day, Lord, we will be translated because of the word that we're hearing, because of the fellowship of the saints, because we walk in the light as you are in the light, then we have the right fellowship in that light. Thank you, Father Lord. And thank you, Father God. Maraming maraming salamat. Ang inyong salita ay banal at ito rin ang magpapabanal sa inyong mga anak. For our Father in heaven is holy. Then we will also be holy. Cleanse our hearts. Speak your word. Prepare our minds. Open our ears. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Kristo Yesus. Amen. 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 If you're sitting, we'll take our stand and read the text. This is part four of the statue of a perfect man. <clears throat> Two Wednesdays ago, we have spoken about, or three Wednesdays ago, we have spoken about the introduction 
Then the second part are the first three virtues. Faith, knowledge, uh, faith, virtue, and knowledge. Then the third part is the temperance, patience, and godliness. Now we will speak about the fourth part. Bago ang capstone, mga kapatid, and this is the seventh virtue, brotherly kindness. At um, we will read our text in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1. There are some feedbacks of sounds you can see. <clears throat> okay, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith, with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according as His divine power hath given us hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding and great precious promises that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this, giving all diligence unto your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, this is our subject for this evening, brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, Lord willing, this is for next week, the capstone, charity. For if these things be in you, and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind, and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Ang Panginoon ang maghayag ng kanyang salita sa atin. We may take our seats even on the live stream. God bless you all. Salamat sa kalakasan for the restored strength. No? Maraming biyahe since last week. And um, this pandemic really uh, had uh, changed the, the world, not the way it is used to be, no? Pero salamat na lang at um, hindi nagkulang ang ating Panginoon. Lagi natin itong naririnig, heaven and earth shall pass away, but the words of our Lord will never pass away, No? So, salamat at um, last week, uh, we've been sa ating mga kapatid sa TLM San Juan, Batangas. No? At uh, nakalusot din sa mga checkpoints because of course, dapat pagka church, pinalulusot yan dahil ibang pagkain ang dala niyan. Eh. Yes, at um, <clears throat> uh, God has blessed our brethren there. In a, uh, in a short report, mga kapatid, ay... Um, uh, pinapatag na yung lupa na tahanan ng ating mga kapatid which is a portion of those of that lot is a church yeah so yan nga malapit na dumating si Lord but mamumuhay tayo na parang darating na siya mamaya pero magpaplano tayo na parang isang daang taong pa siya darating the balanced life of a of a believer na hindi pababayaan ng ating Panginoon ang lahat ng aspect. We've dedicated a business there. Pinagpala ni Lord ang mga kapatid. At uh, alam, ng Pangino- alam ng Panginoon at alam ng mga kapatid, kung pinagpala sila ni Lord, uh, this is for His glory. And that is the way it is used. That, that is uh, the way it should be. No? So salamat sa ating Panginoon din. Uh, we've been at uh, TLM Bataan two days ago hanggang kagabi. No, dahil nga iba ang uh, demographics ng mga kapatid natin doon. Ang church doon mga kapatid, layo-layo ang mga magkakapatid. But uh, every Sunday they can gather and really have fellowship. But with this pandemic, talagang mahigpit doon. Mas mahigpit doon talaga. GCQ doon, pero mas mahigpit. Ilan checkpoints ba yun, Baronik? Tatlo. <laughs> Hindi nga namin alam by faith kung talagang makakarating kami. 
Pero sabi nga, kung pauwiin tayo, di uwi tayo. Pero kung tayo ay payagan ng ating Panginoon na magkaroon ng meeting sa church construction, church building, at nangyari yan, nagkaroon kami ng uh, overnight fellowship doon, nangyari yan, and of course, nabisita namin yung construction site, nangyari yan, at nang, nangyari na nabisita ang ibang mga kapatid. Not all, I'm sorry, no? Kaya nga, inihintay na rin na mabuo ang, uh, ang church, ang lahat desente na matapos upang uh, pagdausan ng gawain. Salamat sa ating Panginoon. I've seen the physical church, no? At uh, my heart, uh, kinukontain ko lang yung gladness. Baka mapaluha ako dahil alam ko ang hirap ng mga kapatid dyan. No? May mga sumusuporta in and out of the country. Nakikita nila yung developments na mabilis. Salamat sa ating Panginoon. Kilala niyo kung sino kayo. There are some donations that's happening, that anonymous. Ayaw nila sabihin kung sino sila. May mga nagdodonate din naman na okay lang na sabihin na galing sa kanila. No? At um, nawawala yung pagod <clears throat> pag nakikita natin na kumikilos ang ating Panginoon. Because the, the, the real true church is the people, not the building. Pero pagbigyan ka pa ni Lord ng isang decent worship place bago siya dumating is really a thing na ipagpapasalamat natin, no? Yes, medyo uh, may kapaguran dahil kasama ko rin ang aking may bahay. Iba naman kasi ang katawan ng babae, no? Uh, pagka napagod talaga, kailangan magpahinga. And uh, I will be praying for us din. Yung minsan na ipapapray ko yung iba, but kami at my own family sometimes, no? Ganun talaga siguro, but Uh, we, uh, we will be praying for our health then dahil hindi naman huminto si Lord ng pagkilos sa mga ginagawa niya. No, it is just, uh, hindi ko lang magawa ngayon talaga yung mga invitations na malalayo. Last Sunday, I am not here because I was invited to preach at a church sa Cavite. Matagal na rin invitation yon at uh, salamat ay natupad. Mga kapatid dati sa General Trias, Pastor J. Altajeros, Yeah, this is one great fellowship of the saints. Hindi lang tayo rito. No, hindi lang tayo rito sa Laguna. Meron din tayo mga kapatid sa Cavite. May mga kapatid tayo sa Manila. May mga kapatid tayo sa Batangas. May mga kapatid tayo sa Bataan, sa Olonga po, sa Sambales. May kapatid tayo mga kapatid sa Singapore, sa Cambodia. May mga kapatid tayo sa, sa Amerika, sa Canada. Yeah, but one thing is for sure. No? This is a universal body that will go unto perfection. That is for sure. At ipinakita ng ating Panginoon niyan sa Book of Acts that there will be really a church that even the gates of hell cannot prevail. Na? Salamat na lang hindi yun natatapos doon dahil hindi pa ako pinapanganak. The Book of Acts is an example na merong isang super church na lalabas na hindi ka pwede magsinungaling sa loob ng iglesia. No? God has proved sa book of Acts that there is a church that can demonstrate instant healing sa lahat ng nanalangin. There is a super church in the book of Acts <clears throat> na kahit simpleng mga tao lang yon. everything is provided. Everything was provided at walang nangailangan lahat nagkaroon. There is a church, mga kapatid, na kapag kahumarap ang mga believers sa mga hari, sa mga governor, sa mga matataas na posisyon, alam nila ang sasabihin nila and they will stand for the word besides the persecution. Hallelujah! Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. If that is the Alpha Church that meron ulit, ang sabi ng prophet, our age is a continuation of the book of Acts. Yeah. Hindi ito, mga kapatid, another story. This is a continuation. No? Salamat sa ating Panginoon. Kaya nga, in no time at all, na naipangaral at expound this subject, the stature of a perfect man. Kasi ang hirap isipin ng perfect. Pero biblical yun. ba? Diba? Yan ang introduction natin eh. Biblical yun na meron talagang perfection. Kasi perfect man nga ito. Eh. Remember mga kapatid, ah, what, uh, what we, are, we are speaking in the four parts now. This is not the fourth part. It's an individual. 
Kaya wag mong isipin ang buong church. God will manage it. Wag niyong isipin, mga kapatid, yung nagsasalita rito. God will manage me. Don't worry about me. God will manage me. Ang isipin natin as an individual, if you're hearing this message as an individual, that you can be a perfect man. Or a perfect lady. Or a perfect youth. Whatever it is. Pag sinabi mong man, hindi lang yan yung gender ng lalaki, but it is a, it is a certain uh, individual believer na aabot siya sa ganitong estado. Kaya nga natin ipinapangaral. Kaya nga sabi ko nga, yung isang pangaral ng prophet, ginawa natin four parts. God has a reason of doing it. Hallelujah. Marami ako nare-receive, mga kapatid, na uh, feedbacks Positive feedback. Salamat, Pastor. Ngayon ko lang nahimay ng maigi yung stature of a perfect man. Yes, because God is doing it through the fivefold ministry. It's still God. Kaya nga, yan ang, yan ang duty ng Pastor, mga kapatid. Kailangan kumain yung mga kapatid. Hindi lang basta kumain. Kailangan mo mahimay yung kinakain. Because once na nahimay ang kinakain, madaling madigest yung inimay. Tama? Mahirap kainin yung isang buong manok. Sino na nakakain dito isang buong manok? <laughs> isang subuan. ba? Pero, pero, pero kapag ka, tama yung pagkain mo at himay-himay ito, hindi mo mapapansin sa loob ng dalawang oras na umus mo yung isang manok. What's the difference na nakain mo yung buong manok at nakain mo yung buong manok na himay-himay? Pareho mo nakain ng buo. It is a certain na uh, thing na mahimay para maging nutritious ito sa katawan mo. Sasama ang katawan mo pag kinamin yung buong manok. No? Pasyo choke ka. Pero pag tama ang pagkain, no? That is the job of the fivefold ministry. Kaya nga, hindi po pwede ang isang believer walang pastor. Mananagot yung pastor na yan. Hindi madali ang trabaho ng isang pastor. Because what is at stake here are the lives of the believers going unto perfection. Thank God. Hallelujah. Now, no? Natapos natin yung faith, virtue, knowledge, introvert. Sa iyo pa lang yan. Ino-operate ni Lord John. Dahil isang araw, magiging extrovert ka, magiging interactive ka. Temperance, patience, godliness. Ini, tinitrain ka ni Lord individually. How will you interact with yourself? Amen. Then after the three, ititrain ka naman ni Lord. How will you interact sa labas? But now, mga kapatid, after that, Bago bumaba yung love, there must be a certain love that must be displayed. Ito ang, ito ang pagdikit ng dalawang pag-ibig, brotherly kindness and perfect love. What is the seventh? Brotherly kindness. Na? At may kaugnayan ang kindness sa love. Okay, Hebrews 13.1, can we read? Hebrews 13.1, ito ang bilin ni Paul. This is Paul speaking. Let brotherly love continue. Kala ko ba kindness? Eh bakit love? Alam niyo mga kapatid, mahirap maging mabait pag walang pag-ibig. Amen? You cannot display kindness without love. Kaya nga ang definition ng Bible dyan, God's loving kindness. Ang, ang Diyos ang unang nagbigay ng kanyang pag-ibig. And the love of God is a loving kindness. Alam niyo, pwede maging, pwede, pwede maging hipokrito kang mabait eh. Maraming ganyan ngayon. <laughs> you, can, you can show na mabait ka, pero ang totoo, wala kang love sa loob. Isang araw lalabas yan. Amen? Ayoko ng kindness na walang love sa loob. Kasi mga kapatid, is, yeah, alam niyo mga kapatid, ang, ang isang, isang kindness na walang love, humihingi ng kapalit yan. Yes. Amen. Pero mga kapatid, ang isang kindness na merong love, it will not ask for a return. Kasi umaapaw lang yung pag-ibig. No? Kaya nga mga kapatid, bakit kaya sinabi ni Paul, let brotherly love continue? Nakita ni Paul na hindi magpapatuloy ang iba sa brotherly love. Yeah. After we have spoken, no? Tignan nga natin to sa Titus 
yung connection ng love at saka ng kindness. Let us read this. <coughs> Titus 3.4 But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared. May connection? Si Lord, kaya siya may kindness kasi meron siyang love. Yeah. Alam niyo kaya maraming frustrations eh. Example na lang natin yung nanliligaw. Yung nanliligaw na mali ang motibo. Ah, mga brothers, na mga nanliligaw, you check your motives now. No, di ba? Minsan kasi, uh, may mga magpapaalam sa akin mga magulang, may mga magpapaalam sa akin mga youth, na, no, pastor, manliligaw po si ganito. Oh, okay, sige. Tatrabaho na naman yan. No? Uh, ganyan, medyo mag a lang ako, kaya lang sa nakikita ko, kailangan pa niyang lumago spiritual. Sa nakikita ko lang naman. No? Kasi ako, mga kapatid, as a minister, I have this duty to tell you. Duty ko yun eh. No? Hindi naman tayo rito, ano lang, casual na magkakapatid. No, this is, this is a universal brotherhood. Minsan, mag, minsan mag-warning ako, hindi, pastor, mabait naman siya. Oh, wala naman ako nakita ng ligo na salbahi. Yes. Amen. Pastor, mabait. Alright. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lahat ng nanliligaw, kahit walang pera, bibili ng bulaklak yan. Amen. Kahit na ipangutang niya, lokohin niya yung nanay niya, may project siya, bibili lang tsokolate yan. No? Kasi bakit, mga kapatid, it's not out of really love. No? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, mga kapatid, pag hindi mo yan kayang pakasalan in the future, iba ang gusto mo dyan. Amen. Yeah. Tapos kapag kaya, nagkaroon ng problema, lalabas ang tunay na kulay. Ganyan ka pala, yun, patay da. Kasi bakit? Because that is kindness without love. But remember, this brotherly kindness that we are talking about, pampito na siya eh. Biroin mo, ba't hindi siya sa una? Ba't hindi siya after ng knowledge? Ba't hindi siya after ng temperance? Bakit mga kapatid? Kasi bago ka magkaroon ng brotherly kindness, kailangan na sa iyo na yung anim na yan. Because brotherly kindness is really challenging. Without temperance, without patience, wow! Wala na siguro mga kapatid. <laughs> siguro yung pastor ng unang sumuko. Bakit tinrain muna ni Lord yung iyong knowledge of what is right and wrong? Bakit tinrain muna ni Lord yung temperance mo? Bakit, bakit pinatibay muna ni Lord yung patience mo? Bakit kailangan ka muna maging parang Diyos? Godliness. Why? Because brotherly kindness is really challenging. The real brotherly kindness. Amen. Hallelujah. Alam niyo mga patid, balance si Barur Banama. Hindi ibig sabihin kindness, you will tolerate wrong things. Amen. No, it's not. Ah, di ba si Barabanam din? Ilang, ilang, ilang quote yan. Hindi ko nababasahin kasi very famous naman yan. Genuine love is corrective. Tama. Amen. Mga kapatid, yung palang genuine love, may kasama talagang correction. Kapag kahiwalang correction, love lang yan. It's not genuine. We need a genuine love here. Kaya nga, nakita niyo yung stature of a perfect man. Na, na, na buo yan, malapad yan sa una. No? Hindi pa ako halos nagsisimula. Then, as it goes up, it goes on minority. Hindi yan pa ganun. Pa ganun. <laughs> the more you go up, it goes into the minority. Dahil kailangan, hindi pa itong subject natin, this is for next week, kailangan dumating sa point, kapag bababa na yung capstone, kasyang-kasya yung capstone doon sa brotherly love. Because that is the meeting of two loves. Perfect love or brotherly love. Brotherly kindness. Yeah. Now, hindi pa yan, sabi ko nga, no? When we speak about love, na ipangaral na natin last time yan eh. 
When we speak about love, sabi nga, meron tayong faith, meron tayong hope, meron tayong love, all those three basic virtues. Pero sabi ng prophet, mga kapatid, ang sabi ni prophet Paul, of course, Paul is a prophet as well. At ang sabi rin ni Brother Bangam, parehong propeta, first and last. Love is the greatest of the three. Ngayon, mga kapatid, bago natin pag-usapan yung perfect love, ito muna ang brotherly love. I will read this quote. When I think, one thing is needed in the great universal church of God tonight is love. We do not need other things as much as we think we do. And all these other things, our emotions and our gifts, they are wonderful. And to God we give praise, but if those gifts are not governed by love, then they are not effective. Have you flushed it? Sabi rito, but if those gifts are not governed by love, kahit pala gifted ka. Kaya nyo mga kapatid, hindi ako na antig sa gifted ako eh. No, yes, pero pag gifted ka, kailangan governed din ng love yan. Alam nyo mga kapatid, ang problema kay Lucifer, hindi na govern ng love yung gift niya. When it comes to gift, Lucifer is a gifted angel. Sabi niya rito, But if those gifts are not governed by love, then they are not effective. Kaya pala may mga gifts na kahit anong display mo ng gift, hindi maging effective sa buhay mo at saka sa buhay ng mga kapatid. Gifted yan. Wala ka masasabi. Kung tumugtog, kung mangaral, yes. Pero mga kapatid, alam nyo, sa panahon natin, madideserve na lahat eh. Those gifts must be governed by love. Love should govern the home. Love is the greatest force that was ever put in the power of men. A home that is not disciplined by love is not much of a home. May discipline pala ang love. Alam niyo mga kapatid, ang isang malaking daya sa panahon natin, ang isang pag-ibig na dahil ka pag-ibig, nakukonsinti mo na yung iba, sabi ng prophet, love. No? A home that's not disciplined by love is not much of a home. Love also has a discipline. E bakit ako ba dinidisiplin ng anak mo? Mahal mo eh. Di ba? If that applies to the homes, that will also apply to church. Mas mataas nga dapat ang church kaysa bahay. Yeah. Kahit ang ating Panginoon, mga kapatid, even, even ang Israel, even ang unang tao, si Adan, even mga kapatid, ang, ang, uh, ang Alpha Church, mga kapatid, hindi nangunsinti si Lord, even sa parang ni Lord Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago, very compassionate si Lord. But it, when it comes to sin, hindi niya yan, hindi pa pwedeng hindi yan makorek. Because that is real love. Tandaan niyo mga kapatid, bago, yan, bago ang kapstone ng perfect love bumaba, no? this must be applied brotherly. Sabi niya rito, if the husband and wife doesn't solemnly love each other, they cannot trust each other. Importante sa pag-ibig ang trust. Yeah. Yung trust pa naman, ang hirap na ibalik yung pag nawala. You cannot, you cannot uh, deceive it. Mag-asawa, no, paano mo may ibig yan kung wala kang tiwala dyan? Kaya nga pag yung asawa, umalis ng bahay, hindi mo na alam kung saan pupunta yun. O, alam mo sa trabaho, pero hindi mo na alam kung ano nangyayari doon. May, but may tiwala ka sa kanya eh. Di ba, sabi ni Barbanam, yung asawa niya, pag umaalis siya, hindi siya sinasabihan, eh, ikaw, Billy, ah, walang babae, ah. Walang ganong statement. Tapos si Barbanam, sasabihin niya sa kanya asawa, o oh, ah, meda ha, walang mga lalaki, ali-aligid, ah. Walang ganong statement. Bakit? Kasi they trust each other. You cannot love whom you cannot trust. Yeah. Importante yan mga kapatid sa bahay, importante yan sa mag-asawa, importante sa trabaho yan. Even in business, even at the church. Kaya nga ang akala ng ibang mga kapatid, simple lang yan, no. 
No, now we are coming into perfection. Dahil kapag ka naging solid yung brotherly love, yung capstone bababa lang. Mas madali yung pagbaba kaysa yung pag-akyat. Amen? Biro mo pitong akyat yan, mga kapatid. Pag naakyat yan, pitong yan, bababa lang yung isa na magpe-perfect doon sa, caps, sa, sa pyramid, the capstone. Kaya nga may perfect church kasi merong pyramid, merong, merong capstone. Hallelujah! Pero kailangan trabahuin yung pag-akyat doon sa pito. Huwag tayong mag-alala kung sinasaway tayo. If God is correcting us through the message, yan, yan ang way ni Lord para mahon yung ating character going into perfection. Dahil pag na-perfect yan, pag bumaba yung capstone, pak! Amen. Hallelujah. Perfect love. Sabi niya dito, that's why I think that instead of resting our faith upon some emotion, which is alright, no? Sabi nga, minsan nagiging emotional tayo, alright lang naman yan. Or some gift, which is alright, like shouting, speaking with tongues, or, or with other things that we take, or saying we have the Holy Spirit when we do this, those things are alright. But, if we would come back to the principle, love first, and then those things. Amen. I think our church would progress a lot faster if we could get God first and God is love. Gusto niyo ng progress ng church? Gusto niyo umudla ng church? Love first. Alam niyo mga patid, minsan makakita ka ng mga gifted na church pero hindi nagpo-progress because it's not governed by love. Yeah. I like the subject of love because it is a bond of perfection. The only technique that we can do before we do everything, love must be the motive. No? Kaya nga, binanggit ni Brother Branham lagi, no, genuine love. What is genuine love, by the way? I would like to quote this. The next week, the capstone. Lord willing, kung hindi pa rapture. Alam nyo, rapture can happen anytime. Alam nyo mga patid, nararamdaman ko na itong, itong nangyayaring pandemic mga kapatid. Uh, there are some things talaga na mukhang papunta na ito doon. Kaya sa lahat po ng mga kapatid dati sa ibang bansa that they consider this church as their church. Kasi nga, no, wala silang church doon. Yeah, God bless you all. Praise God. At mga kapatid dati na nasa ibang lugar na they found this, the, the ministry as a blessing to them. As far as Romblon, may mga kapatid tayo dyan na they consider this. Hindi ko nga mapuntahan. Kahapon nga mga kapatid, nag-meeting kami. Nagulat ako, meron pa lang sa isang lugar doon na ako raw ang pastor nila. Hindi ko alam, ako pastor nila. <laughs> Meron pala akong church doon. Kasi nga, nalunod sila ng live streaming at tunit na sila sinong pastor nyo doon sa, sa token. Ah, ganun. Pwede pala yun. <laughs> Pakisabi naman mga kapatid ko, ako po ang pastor ninyo so that I can really go to you. No? Talaga lang ang hirap. Imagine three checkpoints na dinaanan namin na kailangan talaga naming uh, lumusot at uh, hindi naman masama ang pakay namin. Talaga naman may itatay yung church at we must bring essentials. Essentials of presence. <laughs> Thank God. What if a junior stands out here in the street? I'm quoting. And he's out there making a mud pile in the middle of the street. Oh, sabi ni Barra Banam, no? Kaya importante ang church eh. Listen to this, no? Sabi niya, sabi ni Barbanam, na alam mo nang yung anak mo nandun na naglalaro ng putik. Alam mo na, ha? Where them cars are passing by, you say, Junior, bless your little heart, honey, you shouldn't be sitting out there. When you're ready, come in. That's not love. Okay, Junior, bait-bait mo. <laughs> alam mo na may nagdadaan sa mga sakyan yan. Pag ready ka nang pumunta rito, Punta ka lang dito. Ano sabi ng prophet? That's not love. Alam mong delikado yun eh. Kaya nakita niyo ba yung mga kabataan ngayon dahil nga sa social media and they are warning and they are correcting at alam nila pag nagpatuloy yan ay 
ay maaring makasira sa kanila in even the church no at kinokorek kapag pinababayaan mo lang yan kabataan that's not love kasi mga kapatid alam mong pwede ka ipahamak you don't love your child and you take him out there and jerk him out on the street and you get and stick and teach him he shouldn't go out there again if you really love him and that's the matter with our ministry today they're here, they're there, it's a mill ticket, it's a denominational affair. And they're afraid to handle the gospel the way it should be handled. So, sinisi ni Lord yung ministry. Yung mga ministry na hindi nag i sa kapakanan ng mga kapatid, basta lang may church siya. Remember this, mga kapatid, this church is not a, a, a building. The church is not a, an ordinary church. Uh, meron itong destinasyong maganda. Perfection, mga kapatid, ang inihintay natin. Ano sabi ng prophet? Perfection is waiting for me. Amen. Mga kapatid, hindi pa tayo perfect. May perfection na. And it is waiting for me. Pastor, ang hirap eh, by grace. Kaya nga paakyat yan eh. Sabi ko nga, wala namang paakyat na madali. Either magmotor ka, magsasakyan ka, magbibisikleta ka, maglakad ka, lahat ng paakyat mahirap, but there is glory up there. Amen. Amen. The capstone is waiting. Yeah. But I believe, I believe, the church of God is now ready. Ready to accept kung ano pa ang kulang niya. Ready to be corrected kung ano pa ang pwedeng ituwid sa kanya wala na siyang pakialam, I will go there. No matter what. Until they're there, you've got to bring it to truth. Kailangan sabihin mo totoo. There's something wrong and we know it. We are pulling for system instead of kingdom of God. And we know there's something wrong. It's corrupt. Hindi lang pala sa gobyerno yan. Yeah. Kaya I'm sorry mga kapatid. No? It's hard for the minister to maintain or lift up the standard. Yung standard mga kapatid sa Diyos galing yan. At nagpadalaan Diyos ng mensahe na yung mga believer makakasabay sa standard na yun. Kaya ang tingin nila sa message mahigpit, kaya lagi ko sila sabi, hindi mahigpit ang message, certain standard yan. At merong makakarating dyan, don't worry. By faith we believe, hallelujah. Praise God. Kaya nandito na tayo sa rurok. Brotherly kindness. At alam nyo mga kapatid, kapag hindi ka mapigilan ni Satanas, the, he will just sow discord among the brethren. Galit ang Diyos sa pinag-aaway ang mga kapatid. Proverbs 6.16. Let us read. This Six things that the Lord hate. Oh, mga patid, ha? Look at the word. The Lord hate. Amen. Ibig sabihin, galit ang Diyos dito. Yes, seven are an abomination unto Him. A proud look, mayabang, a lying tongue. Oh my God, sino ang gusto may kasamang sinungaling? And hence that shed innocent blood, yung mga yung mga innocenteng nadadamay sa mga bagay, no, and you do it with, with the wrong motive, a heart that devises wicked imagination sa mga hindi nagtatanong at nag-i-imagine lang. Mga kapatid, huwag ka mag-imagine. You can investigate and you can ask. Because kapag hindi ka nag-investigate, your imagination will be wicked kung ano-anong papasok sa isip mo. Fit that swift in running to mischief yung daw mga paa na mabilis sa pagtakbo sa kasamaan. Pagdating sa gawain ng bagal, pag sa kasamaan ng bilis. Sinungaling na saksi, sabi sa verse 19, a false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among brethren. Remember this, no? Ang totoong pag-ibig, nagtatakip ng kasalanan yan. Amen? Expose mo kay Lord at nagpakumbaba ka, then God can cover multitude of sins. Because God is love. Love can cover multitude of sins. Ang kasalanan hindi pa naninindigan. No. 
How can God cover that sin kung paninindigan mo yan? Na imbes na magpakumbaba ka, nagmamataas ka pa, alam niyo mga kapatid, ang gawin ng mga nagmamataas, hahanap ng kakampiyan na nagmamataas din. At mga kapatid, ang gusto niyan, mga kapatid, discord. Ano ba yung discord? Kabaligtara ng cord. <laughs> ano ba yung cord, di ba? Yun yung nagtatali. Yung discord, yun yung nagkakalas. Yeah. God hates it. Because it's Satan's device. God is after the right unity. Satan is uh, discord among the brethren. But remember, mga kapatid, hindi madadaya ang hinirang. Amen. No. The elect will not be deceived. Susubukan ni Satanas as much as possible that the elect will be deceived. But this is the good news. The elect will not be deceived. He will go into the perfect brotherly kindness. Amen! Hallelujah! After you done, come from here to here, to here, to here, to here. Now you're coming into the full stature now of a son of God. The full stature, yung wala pang kapson, is the brotherly kindness pang pito na yan. Okay? Madali ang brotherly kindness pag may patience ka na. Listen! Madali ang brotherly kindness pag may temperance ka na. That's why alam ng ating Panginoon before you go to that kindness, you must have patience, you must have godliness, you must have temperance, you must have virtue, you must have faith, you must have the knowledge of right and wrong. Paano mo may ibig yung kapatid? No? Sabi ko nga, kapag kinukonsinti mo yan, then you yourself doesn't know right and wrong. I'm speaking to the perfect church now. Ay, alam niyo yan. Kahit TLM Bataan, kahit TLM Kalamba, the continuous renovations here, no, salamat kay Lord. God is providing. One day, magtatayo na ng church sa TLM San Juan. Pinapatag na yung lupa. Yeah. All of this, from God and to God, isa lang ang pinatutunayan ng Diyos, mga kapatid buo ang mga anak niya. Because the church physical is a reflection of the true church, the people. Maganda yung mga subjects last Sunday, no? rebuilding and overcomers to the last age. No? Mag-usap ba yung dalawa? Palagay ko, hindi. Yeah. Kaya nga may rebuilding kasi ang akala ng iba Pagtapos na, tapos na, no? Sa panahon ni Elijah, may rebuilding of the altar. Sa panahon ni Nehemiah, may rebuilding of the walls. Sa panahon natin, mayroong rebuilding of the church. Kasi si Satanas, laging sumisira, si Lord laging nagbibuild. So saan ka doon? <laughs> Yun lang ang tanong. Saan ka doon? Sa sumisira o sa nagtatayo? Yeah. Sabi nga nung preacher no, nung Sunday, Brother Mike, eh, sa panahon nga ni Noah, walo lang eh. Oh. Sabi ni Brother Nats, kapag ka magre-rebuild ka ng muscle, it will take time during rest. Correct. Kasi course namin yan eh, physiotherapy. Kaya minsan talaga nagpapahinga dapat. Nag-aalala ba si Noah nung walo lang sila? No. Kasi yung nasa katotohanan, hindi nag-aalala yan. Nasa loob sila ng katotohanan, hindi nila nakikita yung katotohanan ha. Hindi lang nila nakita yung katotohanan, nasa loob sila ng katotohanan. Kaya huwag ka makontento na nakikita mo lang yung katotohanan, pumasok ka ron. You enter the message so that the message in you will be one then you can express brotherly kindness. Amen! Sabi rito, but you got to have this plus all this, hindi ko rin i-illustrate ni Brother Banham yung stature, we can show the illustration intermittently. Eh, minsan, pakita lang natin, pag nababanggit natin, yes, God bless the team. And you can't even start until you get this. 
Now remember the blackbird with peacock feathers. Don't forget him. See, don't try to add till you're actually born again. Remember one time I've spoken, prepare to be frustrated, prepare to be disappointed. Hindi ko alam kung ano sinasabi ko. Because we're only humans. Bakit si Lord hindi siya nidi-disappoint during ng life niya? Alam niya na sa simula yun eh. Tayo maliit yung isip natin minsan. No? Sometimes we will react according to what we see. Wala tayong magawa kasi finite yung minds natin. But remember, if we will trust the infinite mind of God, His mind is infinite. Alam niya na lahat. Sabi, hindi mo po pwedeng lagyan ng balahibo yung isang ibon hanggat hindi siya maging ganun. Malalaglag din yan yung balahibo nun. Sabi niya rito, don't forget him. Sabi niya rito, because it, it won't work and you can't make it work. I'll come to this and there and crumble somewhere. When you get down here, a genuine born-again dove, then you add nothing. It adds to you. See, it comes up. All right, coming into perfection now. All right, coming into perfection. Kaya pala, nasa pang pito yan. Yung genuine love, ha? Yeah. Alam mo yung genuine love. You can correct still with love. At alam mo, pag yung kausap mo may pag-ibig, i-accept niya yung correction with humility. Alam niya, pag ayaw na lang magpasaway niyan, kung ano na lang sasabihin niyan. But remember, a true minister of the message will not lower the standards. Dahil talagang ang tatawagin niyan yung ready na sa capstone. Oh, God, help us. God, help me. God, help my family. God, help the church. We will come into that by grace. Only by grace. Nothing more, nothing less. Kaya don't forget humility, mga kapatid. Don't forget that. Isang, minsan ipangaral nga natin yan. Humble thyself. May, may pangaral si Baral Banam yan. Yeah. Sabi niya rito, all right, coming into perfection now, all right, the sixthly, let's add, the Bible said here, adding brotherly love, brotherly kindness. So, nilino ni Baro Banang, brotherly love, brotherly kindness. Ipa-flash ng mga kapatid natin yan. Now, that's a good one. Right here. The sixth one, seventh, all right. Adding brotherly kindness, all right. When we get to that brotherly kindness, put yourself in his place on the matter. Now you say, my brother sin against me, said, Peter, shall I forgive him? Said seven times a day. He said, 70 times seven. See, brotherly kindness. 70, 70 times seven. Calculator, ilan? 49 yung 7 times 7, at 0. 490. Wow. Lalo niyo mga kapatid, when it comes to dealing with with sin, with correction, ang payo ng Bible, kailangan may temperance ka. Naalala ko si John, nung wala pang Holy Spirit, gusto niyang tamaan ng kidlat ang lahat ng ginaniniwala sa kanila. Lord, tamaan na ng kidlat lahat yan. <laughs> wala pang Holy Spirit eh. Pero mga kapatid, nung si John eh, na-convert na. Little children love one another. Yeah. Si John ang isang apostol na namatay ng natural death, the last of the apostle. Ano nagpahaba ng buhay ni John? Love. Naniniwala ba kayo nagpapahaba ng buhay ang pag-ibig? Yeah. Tama ko, nagkamali ka ng asawa, gusto mo nang mamatay. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> sabi ng pastor ko, hindi ko na raw pwedeng hiwala yan. Kamatayan lang daw magpapahiwalay. Kung sasagot si Lord, yes, kailan ako Lord mamatay? 
Pero alam niyo mga patid, pag tama na pang asawa mo, gusto mo mahaba buhay mo para mahaba pang pagsasama niyo. Di ba? Nakakahaba ng buhay ang pag-ibig. Kaya, yeah, it's a good therapy, yung genuine love. Yung touch na may love, mga kapatid. Nakakita ko sa Facebook niya, yung touch ng mother sa batang patay, nabuhay yun. Nangilabot ako nun. Kasi ang sabi ni Barbanam, the strongest force that hit the earth is not the nuclear bombs. It's love. Yeah. Marami ikokonker ang pag-ibig. It's more powerful than guns. It's more powerful than bombs. It's more powerful than nuclear missiles. It's love. Kaya salamat sa ating Panginoon, no? Sabi niya rito, no, he said 70 times 7, see brotherly kindness, now you see. If a brother all out of tune, don't be impatient with him. See, no. Be kind to him. Go anyhow. Kaya nga ang secret lang, humility. Kapag alam mong mali ka, maging humble ka lang, mga kapatid. Love can operate. Mawawala ang love pag nagyabang ka pa. Mali ka na nga, nagyabang ka pa. <laughs> oh my God. How can love operate on that? Na? Mahirap. 1 John 4.20 I'm uh, making it fast. Uh, may nakita akong prayer request sa ano? Hindi ko na makita. Nasa, okay, thank you. <clears throat> If a man say, I love God, madali na sabihin, mahal mo ang Diyos eh. Yeah. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. Kaya maraming sinungaling. Mahal ko si Lord, pero nainis talaga ako sa kapatid na yan eh. Tawagin mo siyang sinungaling. Pastor, grabe ka, sinawag mo sinungaling. Sabi ng Bible, mahal mo ang Diyos, pero you hate your brother, he is a liar. Ito, basahin mo. 1 John 4.20 He is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Tatagalogin ko mga mahal kong kapatid. Paano mo sasabing mahal mo ang Diyos na hindi mo nakikita? Kung yung kapatid mo nakikita, hindi mo kayo ibigin. Amen? Tandaan niyo mga kapatid, ang capstone love, hindi yan bababa hanggat hindi mo muna mahalin yung kapatid mo. Amen. Or... Okay, disclaimer ulit ha. Laudisya kasi tayo eh. Ang, mal, ang pag-ibig, hindi nagkukonsinti ng mali. Eh, pastor, ibigin na natin siya kahit mali siya. Konsintihin na lang natin. Kasi ang Diyos ay pag-ibig. That's not genuine love, kapatid. Matatamper yan. Ayoko matamper ang original na ginawa ng Diyos. Yes. And this commandment we from, have we from Him that He who loveth God love His brother also. Amen. That's John. No? Kaya nga, hindi ko mababasa ang lahat ng quote. Sabi niya rito, Now in building, the virtue, building this monument, monumento ito, the statue of a perfect man is a monument. Building this stature, see, it start off with a foundation stone, faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, grand, godliness, brotherly kindness. Now, what does it do? Then, they're waiting for the headstone. Remember, hindi bababa ang headstone sa godliness. Hindi bababa ang headstone sa patience. No, hindi bababa ang headstone sa temperance. The headstone will descend on brotherly kindness. Minsan nga, sinasabihan na ako ng iba, Pasa, ba't hindi ka magsalita? Ganto, ganto, ganyan. Mas maigit tahimik ako. Yeah, few words lang ako. Pastor, ganito, ganito, ganyan. Yes, I know it. No? There is a time that if I must speak, I'll speak. 
There is a time that I will be silent, I'll be silent. There's a time for everything. Amen. Alam niyo kung bakit mga kapatid? Makapangyarihan ang salita. Makapangyarihan yan. Kung si Lord hindi nakatiis sa sakit na nararamdaman niya at the cross at sabi niya, patayin ng mga anghel ang lahat ng humahampas sa akin. Mga kapatid, walang matitirang Romanong sundalo patay lahat yun. But God, because of His love to me, kailangan niya magbayad ng kasalanan na nahimik siya. Amen. Alam niyo na, na imagine ko gusto ng bu- gusto na ni Lord na uh, bumulwak. Kasi ang sakit na eh. May laman din siya eh. Amen. Pero nakita niyo kapag walang love, hindi niya kayang gawin yun. Pero kung umiral sa kanya, nakita niya yung pag-ibig niya sa akin, kailangan niya bayar ng kasalanan ko na nahimik siya. Siya ang salita pero na nahimik. <laughs> yeah. Because, sabi rito, then they're waiting for the headstone, which is love, for God is love. And He controls, and He is the strength of every one of these things. That's right. Yes, sir. Right in here, right in here, you see, I got in between. All this works in here. Pinakikita niya siguro yung illustration. And here this little waves come. What is that? The Holy Ghost coming down through Christ. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is above all this. Welding this together. Welding. Last time, ginamit siya, vulcanize. Ngayon, ginamit siya, welding. Parehong prinsipo lang yon, No? Napapag binu-vulcanize mo, binu-welding mo, no? Wala ka na makitang trace. Parang isa na lang yung dinikit. Amen. Hindi mo na pwede paghiwalay yung temperance of patience. At pag dumikit na yung brotherly kindness, hindi mo na pwedeng ihiwala yan na kahit na gusto kang inisin ni Satanas. Pag-ibig pa rin ang umiiral. Amen. Hallelujah! This is our age! Oh, capstone, come down! Let brotherly love continue. Pastor, kailangan tayo magmahalan. Yes, we must. I even love my enemy. I hate sin. I love my enemy. Kaya pag nag address ako ng problema, ang tinitira ko yung kasalanan. Ang problema, pag dumikit na yung kasalanan sa kapatid, ang akala niya sa yun. <laughs> Amen. Alam niyo mga kapatid, ito isang indicator para meron kayong tip. Di ba? Hindi ko alam ang nangyayari sa buhay niyo. Hindi ko alam ang ginawa niyo kanina. May buhay din ako eh. I have a family to manage. I have some secular side to manage. I have my health to manage. Hindi ko alam kung ano nangyayari sa inyo kanina. Pero ang dami kong nakikitang feedbacks na you pastor, yung mensahe yun ay para sa akin kahit masakit. Why is that happening? Because God is addressing the sin. He is perfecting you. Ang tamang reaksyon ng isang may pag-ibig, pastor, para sa akin yan kahit masakit. Pag si Satanas ang nag-react sa buhay mo, pastor, pinipersonal mo ko. <laughs> so, mamili ka. Holy Spirit or Evil Spirit? Sa dami nang iniisip ko sa akin at sa family ko, may isip ko pa ba yung problema mo? Pero that's the way God is doing it. Pagka nangaral siya, He is addressing all, all believers that will go unto perfection. Thank God. I'll see you all in glory. <laughs> Kaya sabi ko nga, ito, madalas ko ito sabi, mas gusto ko magkita tayo sa glory kaysa okay tayo rito, hindi tayo magkita ron. Because one thing for sure by faith, pupunta ako ron. 
Even Satan cannot hinder me. Because I'm a part of the church that even the gates of hell cannot prevail. Yeah. God help us all sa lahat din na nakikinig. Kung imposible sa tao, walang imposible sa Diyos. We will go there. <clears throat> yeah. Welding this together, building a what? A perfect church for the capstone to cap it off. Kaya hindi pangarap lang ang perfect church, mga kapatid. It is real. Amen. And one thing to check it, huwag mong intindihin yung iba. Lagi mo munang tignan yung sarili mo. Ito ang sasabihin ko sa inyo, mga kapatid. Pag tinitignan mo muna yung sarili mo, wala ka ng oras sa iba. Sa so, sobrang dami mo ng kahinaan. <laughs> Alam niyo, mga kapatid, yung may oras pang tingnan yung iba, hindi niya nakikita yung sarili niya. Ganun lang yun, kasimple. At ang bawat isa, kung ang bawat isa, tinitignan niya yung sarili niya, kinukompare niya sa word, lahat tayo gumagawa ng ganun, little by little, nagkakapareho tayo, not, not, not because kinukompare ko yung sarili ko sa iba, no, I'm comparing with my, myself with the word, you are comparing yourself with the word, sabay-sabay tayo nagkukompare sa word, then one day. Hallelujah! Thank God! That's why if I'm giving an advice, this, this must be biblical at nasa message. Hindi ako magbibigay na sarili kong kaisipan. Walang basis yun. Amen. Starting back there. Started back there. Where was the church first founded? Ito na. Where was the Pentecostal church first founded? By St. Paul Ephesus, the start of the Ephesian church is Ephesus. The second church is was Myrna Virtue. Dito na nabuo na tinapat na ni Brother Branham lahat ng virtues sa church ages. We can flash the illustration. No? Irenaeus, the great man who held up the gospel of Paul, next church age was Pergamos, who was Martin. Martin was the man who stayed. Paul and Irenaeus, Martin. Then Thyatira come, Columba. You remember, here it is, here it is drawn out right here. Naka-flash yan. Ganyan na ginawa ni Brother Branham. Isang araw, ikakabit din natin yan sa for living creatures, this is a good subject. Anong ibig sabihin, mga kapatid? Yung perfection darating sa panahon natin. Amen. Napakapalad ko naman dito ako na nabuhay. Kaya kailangan, mga kapatid, kung ang perfection dadala, da, darating sa panahon natin, there must be a perfect message for the land this Amen. time. Naabutan ako noon. Oh, thank God. Kaya kala niyo, mga kapatid, sa isang malinis ang puso niya sa harapan ng Diyos, kahit mag-isa ka, hindi ka malungkot. Because you are right in the front of God. Alam niyo, kapag ka masaya ka lang, pag marami mga kapatid, nag-fellowship, syempre masaya naman yan talaga. Tapos pagdating na mag-isa ka na lang, nalulungkot ka, there is something wrong. But God can help you. Lalabas ang isang church, wala na siya nakatagong natitirang kahit kapirasong dumi. Pastor, ang dami kong dumi. Kaya pa ba to? Kaya ng Diyos yan. Hindi mo kaya yan. Kaya ng Diyos yan. Si St. Paul nga, si Saulo, eh, dami niyang pinapatay. <coughs> siya ang nagutos. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> siya ang nagutos magpapatay. Gano'ng kalaking kasalanan yun? Kaya nga si Pablo, mga kapatid, ang dami niyang word na grace sa mga sulat niya kasi siya ang unang recipient nun. Ang dami niyang pinapatay, pinili pa akong mga aral. Yes, that's grace, mga kapatid. Pag naranasan niya yung grace na yan, you are never alone. Amen. Here you are, seven church ages, seven steps. God building His church is like one person into an individual, into Himself. The glory, the power of God coming down through this, welding it together. Therefore, the Pentecostal people that let out the Lutheran, let out the Wesleyan and things, doesn't know what they're talking about. You see, they live in this part of the temple. Wala kang magawa. Walang capstone dun sa panahon ng Wesleyan. Walang capstone sa panahon ni Luther. 
Kaya yung message nila mga kapatid, hindi katulad ng mensahe na tanggap natin. That's the way some people can come up at a high and drop off. Kaya huwag kang magtataka bin mga taong mataas na mataas na babagsak pa rin. Sinabi ng prophet yan, oh, may isang mapapustate ka, pastor, akala ko malago na yan. Eh, yun nga, hindi pa. <laughs> Basta nasa taas na yan, ah. mataas na mataas na yan, parang para biglang bumagsak. Eh, sabi nga ni Barabana mo, di ba? Ang sabi niya, some people can come up that high and drop off. But there's a genuine part of that. I like that. I'm part of that. But there's a genuine part of that. May bahagi dyan na totoo. Have we flush it? Keeps making that building come on. I will restore, saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. Kaya nga, mga kapatid, kung mahal, This is the word and this is the message. This is not me. Recipient din ako nito. No, kung ako lang minis na nangaral, ako lang ang una nag-enjoy. You can enjoy it too. Yeah. This fellows wasn't required. What these fellows are. This wasn't required what this was. See? But he brought his church up the same way. He brought his church up the same way. He's bringing his people up. Then Peter says in first seven things, faith, virtue, see, come up, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness, brotherly love, add brotherly kindness, and then the love of God. The Holy Ghost, Christ, is in the person of the Holy Ghost, comes upon you in the true baptism of the Holy Ghost, and you got all these virtues sealed in you, then God lives in a tabernacle called the building, the living tabernacle of the living God's dwelling place. Diyan ang matutupad ang salita ng Diyos that know you not, you are the temple of God. Amen. Kaya pag sinaktan ka nila, ang Diyos ang sinaktan nila. Pag pinainom ka nila, ang Diyos ang pinainom nila. May maliligtas dyan, mga kapatid. Pag dinalaw ka nila, pag binigyan ka nila, ang Diyos ang binigyan nila. Dahil yung nakatira doon, mga kapatid, ang mas mahalaga kaysa sa tinitirhan. Hallelujah! But when we, not in an in, in imaginary way, but prostrate ourselves before a living God, a living virtue, a living knowledge, puro living to ha, a living patience, <laughs> living na, hindi patay, a living godliness, a living power, coming from a living God, makes a living man, a living image in the stature of God. What he's doing? The same things that Jesus did. Walking in the same way he walked, doing the same things he did because it's not imaginary thing. There's a reality that proves. Hindi ko mapagkasya ngayon hanggang perfect love. Capstone. We will be concluding the stature of a perfect man next week. Ang hirap pagkasyahin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa isang mensahe. <laughs> oh my! Thank God! This is my prayer. May the love of Christ be in you all. Amen. From His throne to this pulpit, to the live audience, to the live streaming audience, May the love of God be with you all. Hindi imposible, Lord, na padaluyin niyo ang pag-ibig sa mga tahanang nakikinig ngayon. Hallelujah! The perfect love will not come down without brotherly love and brotherly kindness. Amen. Madaling ibigin ang kaibig-ibig. Mahirap ibigin ang hindi kaibig-ibig. But God will do it. Tulungan tayo ng ating Panginoon. This is our prayer night. There are prayer requests na naipadala sa akin ng last week pa. We will pray for 
Yung hanap buhay ng ating kapatid, no? Na blessings ng Quento family, Sister Ann Quento. And there are certain part of business that needs the availability of certain glycerin oil. We will pray for it. O, mga kapatid, specific na yung mga prayer ngayon. Kasi nakita nila, tinutugon ng Diyos, eh. Yeah? And prayer request also, no? Kay, from Barry Gilbert Giray sa kanyang family. And uh, panalangin niya rin ang kanyang uh, trabaho na... No, nasa auto sale siya ang Diyos ang humipo ng mga bibili ng mga sakyan dahil kailangan niyang maregular and he's also praying for the family he's also praying for the youth he's praying for the super youth yun na ba yung bago niyong pangalan? <laughs> super youth daw eh talagang super na lahat baka may mga kapa kayo paglabas ng fellowship ka si super press Saan si Supervise? Ang ganda na, Supervise. <laughs> Amen! Thank God. Saan yung prayer na, ano? <clears throat> prayer request si Sister Jen Lazo. Prayer request po, Pastor, para sa parents ng friend ko. Viernes family and sa daughter po niya na naka-quarantine sa hospital po ngayon. Okay, we will pray for that, Sister Jen Lazo. Thank you. And uh, God bless the Viernes family. Praise God. Hallelujah. Dano ko sana tapusin na ngayon yung perfect love din, but sabi ko nga, pag-ibig kasi itong pinag-uusapan. Alam niyo, pag pag-ibig ang pinag-uusapan, mga kapatid, puyatan yan. <laughs> Tignan sa isang conversation, pag business, pag politics, inaantok. Pero pag pag-ibig na pinag-usapan, nagigising lahat. Yeah. Thank God. And uh, patuloy ni Lord palaguin ang mga iglesia, no? Sabi ko nga, galing kami sa TLM Bataan two days ago hanggang kagabi. And God is doing good sa so building, all the provisions lakas ng mga volunteers, pag-ibig ng mga kapatid sa Panginoon. That, that building is out of love. TLM San Juan, may igi ng mga kapatid, pinagpala ni Lord spiritual and yung mga ventures nila ron at pinapatag na ang bahay ng ating mga kapatid and the church na itatayo. Thank God. Here at Kalamba, mga kapatid, yung renovations natin, para mas maging maigi ang live streaming natin dahil dito nang gagaling, mga kapatid. No? Para naging network na ito. Yes, gumawa ang Diyos ng paraan para abutin ang lahat ng mga kapatid. This is our Lord moving. And uh, papadalahin ko na rin sarili ko. Minsan talaga, napapagod ng katawan. Thank you, Brother Nick, for all the efforts. Sumasama sa akin. Imagine niyo kung ako pa magbamaneho. So, physical strength, of, of course, to my wife as well. Kasama ko siya palagi. Sometimes sa pagod, nag a yung kanyang reflux. And God heal her as well. Yung mga anak ko, minsan, no, no, online classes sila, may stress din dyan. No, on the physical and psychological, minsan wala kami. Of course, Sister Honey, anak-anakan namin sa bahay. God bless them all as well. Yes. God is love. And let brotherly love continue. Ikilo si Satanas, mga kapatid. Hindi rin magpapahinga yan. At ang inaatake niya ngayon, loob ng message church. But, sabi nga, sabi ni Brother Banam, there's a genuine part of it. And I am part of that genuine part. Shall we pray, Lord God, Salamat aming Ama, You have given us grace this evening. This is our prayer and this is our cry. You bless your word. The message is rich. Your word is absolutely true. We thank you, Father. Prayer request ng aming kapatid, Sister Ann Quento, Lord. Salamat, pinagpala niyo lahat ng pinahawak niyo sa kanila. 
and even the oil business that needs glycerin oil. Or kung pwedeng, kung mali ako, Lord, alam niyo kung anong kailangan maging available na langis. In Jesus' name, our brethren at Tilems and one. Thank you, Lord God, gayon din naming Ama, you have blessed, Lord, the Viernes family, nakakwarantin ang mga bahagi ng pamilya. Pray request Sister Jen Lazo. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Father, for the healing. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. In Jesus' name, you will honor the prayer of our kapatid Sister Jen Lazo, and you will heal the Viernes family. We believe, Lord, here because we apply brotherly kindness. Or Gilbert Christ, sa kanyang trabaho, sa kanyang family, you bless his job. Isang kapatid, Lord, ang nagtatrabaho, Lord, for the ministry, making the announcement, doing the designs of the announcements, Lord, tapat sa kanyang tungkulin sa church. And yet, on the other side, may trabaho siya, pagpalaan niyo rin naman ang trabaho niya, Lord. Maraming salamat po. Along with Brother Dunrill, along with Brother Bernie, and along with Lord uh, Brother Bernie. Thank you, Father. He is also praying for the youth because he is an officer. Ingatan nyo, mga kabataan naming Ama. May tinawag kayong kabataan sa aming panahon and we believe they're listening. They will be free from sin one day in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your, all your provisions sa lakas ng inyong lingkod na bumabiyahe kami, you bless Brother Nick and Sister Joanna as well that is with us along the way. You bless them in everything, Lord. Paging ang pamilya, naiiwan nilang mga anak nila, Lord, to join us. Bless them, Lord. My sister wife, Lord, to restore the strength na napapagod din sa mga biyahe. Ang aming mga anak, Lord, and their online class at minsan wala kami, you bless and heal them as well. Maraming salamat. Lord, if love is in our hearts, then we are joyful. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that you've done to us and doing. You bless our lives, you bless our needs, you bless our finances, you bless the tithes, you bless the offerings, the mission fund, you bless the church building, you bless the lot fund, you bless the renovations. You bless our hearts towards perfection all the team that is working for your glory. Lord, alam nyo, there are behind the scenes working in this multimedia live streaming. You bless them. All of them, Lord, in everything. Bless their efforts. We worship you, Father, and we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, for the love. These seven steps we will reach This is our prayer, and this is our cry. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. History is repeating, but it's much greater now. For a greater than Ruth is uniting with her kinsmen. If you have your touch and offering, just. This is the harvest time I've seen the Lord of the harvest appear But to come into full union with Him This is my prayer And this is my prayer This is my cry
Till in your 